Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And both of these two things are non-contact voltage sensors and non-contact infrared temperature sensors. Very similar, oddly similar, like you notice this is minus 22 to 482 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the range of this particular sensor. Go over to this Milwaukee here, throw it around and look at this. It is minus 22 to 482. Exactly the same, kind of interesting there. If you go to the, uh, um, the operation, very similar, two buttons. It's got the temperature sensor, what this is calling IR, what Milwaukee has is apparently a thermometer. And then turning on this little thing here for the non-contact non voltage sensor right here. We'll test both of those. Very similar design, kind of have this, this um, sort of trapezoid-y shape, interesting. Front end, very similar. Milwaukee's got kind of a nice little gold eyeball accent there. If you go to the Milwaukee, it basically has a little twist and then this pops off, does have an O-ring. Both of them run on two double A's. I actually prefer the snug fit and the more solid feeling of the Klein as I unscrew that out because you're not popping the batteries out a lot. So there's the batteries, there's the O-ring. So I guess I'd rather have something that wasn't going to pop open, say, in my tool bag if I dropped it and that just happened to hit just right and fired off. In fact, that's spring-loaded, so I bet I could shoot that about five feet, maybe. Both have a pocket clip. Pocket clips are equally good or bad, depending on how you look at them. The design, the feel, the fit, finish. I like the Klein color. I like brighter things, but you know that. It's not the Klein orange it's klein yellow now when i push the buttons let's watch what happens let's go to the ir i push the buttons and you can see both of them kick on a temperature the temperatures are different and we'll get to that if i go to the non-contact i push that they both kick on one blue one green i'm going to hold these things close together and here is actually a live wire so i'm going to slowly move those in and they stay lit to tell you that they are actually working. So let's go ahead and look at them individually. Here's the Klein. You can see the distance here. And the Milwaukee. Milwaukee's not as loud, um, and I do prefer, if you look at these, I prefer the green. To me, the green is more obvious, like safe versus blue. Kind of funny. Okay, kill those. Now, if I look at the infrared temperature sensing, so what I'm going to do is, is turn them both on and point them both down. Whoops, hit the wrong button. There we go. You can see their little laser lights. Let me make sure that the there's there's the Milwaukee, there's the Klein. I'll get them lined up and then let go. Here are the two temperatures. You notice it's a couple of degrees off. Now I do have the Klein and the Milwaukee temp guns here. We'll fire both those down. You can see I'll line up the uh, those things. 64.8, so it's about a degree off. Let's try that again. Similar. Let's try these. 64, about less than a, a degree there. Let's try some different materials. Here's some DeWalt plastic uh, out of one of my DeWalt um, carry cases. What do we have? 65, bigger difference on the plastic. The Milwaukee's higher, Klein lower. Don't actually, which is which here? Klein 65, let's do a little math here. What do we have? Okay, 64, those are pretty close. 65, that one's a little higher. I think these are a little bit more accurate. Let's try the Milwaukee. 67, what the heck? Move it away. 68, hmm, that's way out there. Let's try this. This is a Magpul DACA, kind of a 
polymer pouch, different material here. Let's try that one. What do we have? 64, 61. Interesting. Try it again. Maybe get a little closer. 61. A little better there. Let's try it with the Milwaukee. 64. Look at that. All around. And then the Klein. 63. So these are these are coming in a little bit hotter. Let's try a piece of wood here. So try this. Here's a Klein. Here's a Milwaukee. What do we have? 66 and 60. Something's going on. Sixty-three and sixty, getting closer. Let's try it once more. What do we got? Sixty-six and fifty-nine. Hmm. They were at different points. Straight down. Sixty-four, sixty-nine. How do these guys rate? Let's do both of them. You can see the lines there, the little blinkies. What do we have? Whoops, I might have bumped that. Try that again. 63, 62. So those are a little closer. So what I guess uh, I'd say here is if you want the non-contact voltage, they're both great. Um, in fact, run these up here. The Milwaukee's not that not that loud. I've had issues with Milwaukee's in the past. Klein, nice and bright. Pretty good. Whoops, where's my focus there? How long has it been out of focus? You guys didn't tell me. I wish this was way louder. Anyway, there they are. This one sells, the Milwaukee sells for about 44 bucks, I believe. And the Klein you can get for 39 and change. Of course, both can be on sale, both can be cheaper. Uh, I do like the Klein. I've had it for a long time. No, no real problems. I don't know if I'd count on that temperature sensor being within more than a couple of degrees. I'm sure there is a probably somewhere maybe in the uh, in the the uh, instructions it might have the, the resolution how close you can count on it. This is 12 to a thousand volts. The Milwaukee here, if you look, is uh, is it saying here? and up to a thousand volts 12 to a thousand volts the exact same so there they are uh, are they worth having absolutely either one plenty good close enough um, i'd give the nod to the klein if you're going to get in, get one it's a little bit less expensive i like the feel of it in the hand neither one of them has a flashlight you got to pay for another one if you want the flashlight i don't know why there's like four different models of these kinds of things it would be great if they could put all of the features in one of them um, but not necessarily in some 75 dollar unit anyway let me know your thoughts what you use and with that dock out